Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Okay, so today we are taking a look at Transcribe Plus. Here it is. I'm just gonna uh, make sure my stream is working okay. And uh, if you can hear me all right, just let me know and I'll, uh, we shall uh, crack on. Um, say hi to everyone who's here in the chat as well. So welcome everybody who's here in the chat. Thanks for joining us. And I know that Joe is here as well, the, the developer under the uh, name of, where is it? Dynamic App Design. Okay, thanks, Joe. Thanks, all right, so uh, yeah, Transcribe Plus, what we're gonna do? Okay, so I, I did a tutorial the other day, which was basically a full walkthrough. I think most of you probably watched it. If you haven't, you can go and find it on the tubes. Um, we're gonna take a song from me and Joe here, this song that's called It Wasn't Right. So it's pretty basic. But I was never ever happy with the actual vocal mix in there. The vocal, I think, I, I felt was too quiet. So some other bits and pieces can be sorted out as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to we'll listen to the track, then we'll split the audio. And then we're going to export that audio. And then we're going to end up with it in Cubasis, okay? So that's what we're going to do tonight. So first of all, we're going to listen to the track through so you get a feel for what it is. Oh, hang on a minute. Have I got... Um, my screen is buffering. Um, is it, is everybody else's okay? Seems to be. Back, back, back. Are we all right? Yeah. Okay, so just let me know if it buffers or anything, but it should be all right. Now, anyway, okay. I'm going to close the microphone. I'm going to play the track through. Not at that speed, though. I'm going to play the track through uh, so you get a feel for the track. All right, and then we shall proceed. So it's it's not a it's not a very long track, couple of minutes I think, three maybe three minutes. But funnily enough, this was one of our most popular tracks um, it, it, in America. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a oh by the way, the story is it's a cautionary tale of a young girl who lived in in the villages and moves to the city and becomes involved in some shady goings on. First is, oh, I should say as well. You, if you want to scrub audio inside the transcribe plus, by the way, so you can. If you just want to move along silently, you can do it with the spot menu. 
but the actual algorithm in this thing is absolutely insanely good so before i actually split the audio and you can do this with split audio as well we can speed this up slow it down and not adjust the pitch and it's extremely good and then we can also pitch it up and slow it down or a mixture of both so if i say speed this up quite a lot right now double tap to reset and then <laughs> So we can do all that kind of cool stuff as well. We can add markers. If you want to do that, just check out my uh, tutorial uh, from the other day, which goes through all of that stuff. However, what I want to do at first is I want to split this audio into four stems. So I'm going to tap here and I'm going to see what it says. Isolate voice bait. Oh, see if I can get this a bit darker for you guys to see this initial part this is where you can set your color etc we're going to go isolate vocals bass drums and instruments and i'm going to choose this top one here which is four stems and all the processing now is done in the ipad now this will go really fast because i've i've already done it right so but it only takes it doesn't take long it takes a, basically a few seconds and then you're good to go now we have our four stem split we can play the track again we're not going to play it all the way through this time though. But now we can take out various bits and pieces. Smoky bars and sleazy guys, I'm easily led and cheap to buy. Another drink on, let's have some fun. Party time's just begun. I don't want to drink no more, my head's so sore and I'm not sure quite what I did last night. Now, okay, it's not perfect, but nothing that does this is perfect, okay? So, what we're going to do is export this mix. We're going to export these stems into Cubasis, where you can now, we're going to remix the track, and maybe we can add some bits if we have time and stuff like that. So, the idea, there's a link for Transcribe Plus in the description as well, also, and also for Cubasis 3. So, to do this, what we need to do is go here, to our little toaster icon well you can also set it to show the toolbar as well if you add the eq bar here so you can add eq and stuff before you do any exporting and things like this but we're going to do this we're going to scroll down and where it says export stems we're going to go we're going to export them in wave files okay so we're going to export the wave but you can also export in m4a mp4 aiff caf ac as well so um let's do this um okay let's do this uh wave and it's going to export them and when it's exported them we can get some more options hope you're all well it's exporting four completely separate stems so it's not taking too long which is really good okay now you'll see it's a zip file so what we're going to do is we're going to call it it wasn't right which is the name of the track i'm just going to go okay and now it's going to ask us where we want to put them. So I'm going to choose, if it's not here already, I'm going to go copy to files. And I'm going to, my first one up here is audio share. So I'm going to you can basically copy it anyway. I'm going to copy to audio share. So I'm going to go save because I can unzip my files in audio share, which is really cool. So we're going to go over to audio share. And if we go down to the bottom here, you'll see it wasn't right. Zip has been imported here. Now, what we're going to do before I do anything else, 
Um, actually, I can unzip them now, it's fine. So I'm gonna tap on this, and Audio Share will ask me if I wanna unzip the file, and I will. So I can do this in Audio Share. I can't do it in things like Dropbox and stuff like that. So I'm gonna unzip it here, yuff. And it's, it'll, it's unzipped our force. So here we go, we've got, uh, it wasn't right zip, export drums wave, the bass wave, the vocal wave. So we could go, okay, well, here's the vocal wave. Okay, awesome stuff. Now we can do further edits. Now once we get it into Cubasis, this is really cool because this is where we can start to actually remix the track, you know. So what we're gonna do first of all is I'm gonna add a little plus button here plus and I'm going to add a folder and I'm going to call that folder it wasn't um, sorry wasn't wasn't right okay and I'm going to go and find I'm going to go to here now it wasn't right folder will be in here somewhere now there it is I'm going to select this and I'm going to choose these four stems the, the stems that we want and i'm going to where this little green arrow is here i'm going to do this and it's going to ask me to move the item somewhere else inside of audio share so i'm going to go down to it wasn't right um there it is it wasn't right i'm going to move the items there and it's just going to basically put the items into it wasn't right then I'm going to check they're there, just in cases. And there they are, the four of them there. So that's it. So that's all we need to worry about there. So now we can go into Cubasis 3. Oh no, we don't even need to do that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to. One, two, I'm back. I'm not going to use that method of going into Cubasis. I'm going to close, wait, hang on. I'm going to close Cubasis. This is because that's on there like this. I can get rid of that track. I'm not going to be using audio in Cubasis anyway. So I'm going to go to the Files app next. So I've got my stems in its little folder. I'm going to go to the Files app here. I'm going to go to my audio share files and find it wasn't right. Uh, Excuse me while, uh, there it is. So I'm gonna hit select at the top of the files app, choose it wasn't right, which we know our four stems are in. Then I'm gonna go move and go on my iPad like this and go down to Cubasis 3 and I'm gonna drop them into the audio folder so there's my loop stems, my audio files. I could drop them into my audio files, but I'm just basically just gonna drop them into the audio folder so we can find them and see them really quick. So I'm just gonna go copy, and it'll copy those four WAV files into the audio bus folder, the audio folder that we've just put them in. So when we go back to Cubasis now, they'll be there. So, um, what do I need now? I don't need them open at the moment. So, I'll open Cubasis 3 again. Looks have I lost have I lost I've lost my chat feed. Let me just see if I can refresh. Looks like I'm still on. Guys, I'm having a bit of a bit of a problem here. Hang on a minute. It's, if 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 you can still hear me, just watch it. I'm just I've lost my internet connection up here. Just bear with us a sec and I'll get back to you. I think, as far as I can tell, you're still on. The, the mic will keep cutting out because every time I change app, it's just because of the audio interface. Can you still see me though? This is the, this is the thing. 
Okay. Um, bear with me a sec. Can't see what's it. All good. Yeah. Right. All right. That's fine. It's my. It must have been. It must have been me. So I'm just going to get back onto my YouTube feed now, so we can uh, carry on with this. The pedals of live streaming. I think I know what it was though. I think something was happening in the background, so should be all right in a sec. Okay. Right, I think I've just about got my live feed back now. Um, I can get rid of this as well, don't need it. All right, so that was what I was making, like, ch -ch 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 noise. Right, okay, I'm, I appear to be back. Um, and, yeah, let's see. AV, all good here, audio. Right, okay, cool beans, all right, I'm back. So, I must apologise for that. It must have been still working your end. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is I'm, I'm pretty sure that that track is... Oh, gosh, what's going on here now? We've got buffering now. Oh, anyway, if look is just talk in the chat if you can if you can hear me it's fine just it's something it's just something up here i think this track was about 110 bpm so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to set it to uh, 110 i think the original tempo was around 110 but that's not really important for what we want to do what we want to do is go to media go to audio and you'll see that it wasn't right is now in our audio so what we need to do now is just open it up and we can drag the actual thanks well as long as you can hear me as well as well as see me that's a that's a good thing that, that it probably won't happen again what we're going to do is in track one we'll put the vocal so we'll just drag and drop there like this and there's the vocal track then we'll do the bass we'll put the bass on track two um let's see do this then we'll put the uh, drums on track three and we'll put the instruments what have I done here do you know what I'm just, god I'm having a nightmare here hang on which is the one I've just done is it this one yeah um one of them will be right I'm gonna put the other track the this one the instruments on to this track here so now theoretically this should basically sound exactly the same as the original track So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the vocal. Okay, so I'm going to call this um, vocal so we know where we're at. And I'm going to duplicate this track. I'm going to change it to color first as well. So this. I'm changing, sorry, changing the wrong thing here. So change that to that. Then we're just going to duplicate this one and I'm going to duplicate it again. You never know how many of these you might need to start messing around with when you start remixing, but we can mute them for now. And then on track two, which is, let's see. Okay, that'll do, that's the bass, so. And it actually says bass on it for us, so that's cool. Um, bass. Okay. And there was like sound like it was an artifact there. It doesn't matter though. Uh, and then the drums obviously are the drums. So we're going to rename this one. Drums. Okay. And then this one is just instruments. So I'll just call it instruments instruments it'll be it's mainly guitar so i'll stick guitars guitar okay so now we've got our two vocal tracks so the the, the first thing i want to do is i'm going to start to eq up these vocals Lord, I'm not sure. 
Actually, what I'll do is as well, I'll EQ the bass first. I don't know it wasn't right. So let's just take the top off. First of all, I'll apply a channel strip and then EQ. So switch it on. So first of all, there's some work I want to do with the vocal, and this is why I've split these tracks up. So for instance, this part I don't wanna... is the chorus. So, oh, so, so... so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the audio. Okay. So I'm going to just select all three of these. So I'm going to hit select, select the three audio tracks, and I'm going to split them it doesn't really matter as long as there's a gap in my in my mix to do this that's fine I can split between the verse vocal and the audio vocal um, so I'm gonna go split there and that's split it there and I'm also going to go to there which is also the end of the chorus for the vocal and just split them there as well and now excuse me what we can do is for the chorus vocal I'm going to use these two. So I'm going to take this one out, which is going to be the verse vocal. Okay, so that that's going to go for now. So we can just erase that. And we're left with these two vocal tracks here. Um, because this is, the, 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 because we're working with the chorus, I think maybe as well, before I go any further, I'm going to just duplicate another couple of these. So duplicate, duplicate. Just so I've got another couple of vocals to mess around with. Right, let's go and see what we're going on. So this is the chorus one, so I don't need the verse parts in here, so I can take those out. So erase that and erase that, okay? And also, um, I can take out the second right now so I'm gonna to need to split it there as well so I'm gonna select my three tracks as again I'm gonna split it there because there's another there's another chorus here so we're gonna split that and then go along to here and split that there as well and then the end as well is a chorus I think let me just have a listen Iron I think it comes in just let me solo this one I think it comes in around about here just let me take my snap to grid off and I don't want to so there I'm gonna split that there uh, all three of them again so split and that's yep yeah, that's good that's fine so now I can make some adjustments to where this vocal wants to be. So these second two only want to be the choruses, so they want to stay in. Um, they don't want this. How did I end up here? I don't need them. Now I know it all sounds a bit weird at the moment, but it won't when it's all put back together properly. So what we're going to do is get rid of this one and select this one. I'm going to just uh, erase those like that. And then again, also this one and this one we don't need because they're, again, the second verse. So we can erase those. So now, and let me just check with this. Don't need that chorus in there and don't need the end part there. 
Oops, sorry. So now we've got verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. We've split, we've split out the vocals so it'll sound better right now. I'm not gonna, is it this bit here? Uh, my fingers cast, it was one so clear. The small town girl could do. All right, let me just check something, right. Okay, but we snap back on to eighths. All right, so I'm going to take this section out, so erase. So all I've got now are my two verses there. These are all muted, so we're gonna unmute the bass and the drums. So for this first chorus and the other choruses that follow it, we're going to we're going to sp spread the audio out. So what I've got here is tracks. I'll take that off there like this. Track one, so two and three here. So track two. Um, I'm going to put the hard left and right for the voice. Okay, so we, you won't really hear it. I don't know it wasn't right. But if we mute this one. I don't want to drink no more. My head's so sore. But what I did last night, I know it wasn't right. I don't want to drink no more. My head's so sore. And I'm not sure. But what I did last night, I know it wasn't right. And then the same for this one. If I solo this one as well and then we'll uh, mute that one we should get it over the other side so so bringing them back together will basically be the same thing but what we're going to do now is a really cool trick that they used to do uh, it's like automatic double tracking sometimes um you would get the vocalist to sing but i want this the center core is to be more like a stereo effect sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all three of those, right? Okay. And we can go quite close up with this now because all three are going to move at the same time. I'm going to go in here and switch off my grid again. And what I'm going to do is go really, really close in. Okay. And I'm just going to slightly offset these. And that means that you will your brain will perceive it to be spread over to the left and the right. So we'll just very slightly need to move this one slightly off off grid. Doesn't need a lot, but we can mess around with it as we see. So you'll see it's slightly off grid now. Let's move them back in like this just to see what's occurring. And both of the all of these will have moved the same because they were they were linked. Do you see what I mean? Okay. So the two that we're working on, uh, let's go with this. Let's just change the colors for these two because otherwise it may get a little bit confusing. So we know that these are now our chorus vocal and we should hear a difference when it comes in. So now you get the perception. Now we could even probably go, we could probably go a little bit more with it as well. So let's do that. Let's uh, just zoom in again. First of all, let's select our three choruses. So um, select, dink, dink, dink. And let's move them ever so slightly more. See, it's not a lot. I'm just gonna hold it in. So we'll go a little tiny bit more. 
and we should get a, a, a much wider um, noticeable difference in the stereo spread of the vocal if we go into our mixer make sure our kind of our volumes are set relatively the same because we, we kind of want that so let's see what that sounds like now if we go on Cheap to buy another drink or let's have some fun party times just So now we've got this completely different vibe for the chorus than the verse and these two, the, the chorus vocals are now spread out uh, left and right but because we've slightly offset the file you can you can hear it a lot better. So now with these vocals here, this middle section is, is what I, what I want to be messing with for these. And let's just go with, make sure I'm on the right place here. Right, I'm just going to solo these two. Actually, I'm going to un start on muting everything else now. So, so now we're just back to clean again. And with these two here, I'm going to do the same kind of thing, but I only want this middle eight section. So it's track five and six that I want. So I'm going to change the color as well. I'm going to change it to uh, old dog track five, track four. Sorry, is it track four? Track four and five. Okay. I'm just going to change the color to. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Let me put that back to that. Track four and five. We're going to make. Um, red just to, just to keep it kind of where it's at so here we want to be selecting both of the, these so select this and this and I've got about here what have I got All right, I turned them down. Four and five. So. How did I end up? Right. Ding. Bush. Now it's about there, I think ish. Um, How did I yeah. So we can split this vocal, these two vocals there. So just split. And then I just, this is tricky because it kind of over overlaps a little bit. So. How did I end up here? My fingers passed, it was one so clear. The small town girl could do no wrong. The big city lights and the sirens. The siren song. in and string split that vocal those two vocals there and for this one for these we all we need to do is pretty much ditch everything apart from let's go off onto uh, we don't need that well actually we can delete those so erase and then we can pretty much let me just hit select erase everything else because our vocal is complete so what we're doing is we've taken that one straightforward vocal and now we've got multiple vocal takes. We've split the, the stereo spread of one of those vocals. So now we've got, so we're completely changing the mix of the track and it takes a little bit of time, um, but it's good to see the process. And doubling up stuff is a good idea. So you could double up the drums and stuff like this. But basically now I've, I'm at a situation where I can now start to apply some more effects to this this center vocal section for the kickoff. Let's see what's going on in the mix and nothing. That's fine. How did I end up here? So for instance, we can put some more delay on there. Um, let's go with this vocal here. 
and look at our insert effects and oh, we'll be, we maybe just even put some more reverb on so i'll put some reverb on there and on this one i will do the same i'll just put some reverb on so this will now have extra reverb on and now what we can do is we can start to apply an effect to maybe one or both of those channels so i think that sounds quite nice with the extra reverb in there and this is i i could go on and add but we haven't got time but you know you can i could like record new instruments in as well which would be really good um right so let's see let's see let's see uh what what, what could be put on there so what we got going on anything at all well first of all i'm definitely going to turn the channel strip on for both of them um like that so that'll just that'll boost the volume a little bit so let's just uh check with the mixers now oh, i don't want to drink no more my head's so sore and i'm not sure quite what i did last night i know it wasn't right i don't want to drink no more my head's so sore and i'm not sure quite what i did last night mess with the drums so let's just do this so we'll go solo the drums channel strip them up Okay, so let's, I think that's sounding actually all right. I'd like to do something with, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's add a Waves um, Q10 and let's see, 
So lead vocal settings for this for track one. And we don't need we can take this and we can start to do like real surgical removal of anything that's not necessary as well in a mix. So I mean I'm working pretty quick now, but you know, you would want to take time. So for example, for this first part, there's no vocal at all, but there'll still be some artifacts there from from from, from splitting up the tracks. So what we do is just split and then do this and then hit erase. And we can do this all the way through wherever there's silence. You can go right close in and go, right, right, I can take out all this extra stuff. So all this time you're cleaning up everything that doesn't need to be there as well. And I haven't done any doubling with anything. I mean, look at the bass, for instance, we could go, okay, well, let's add um, an audio unit. Let's just, not an audio unit. Let's just go to the, let's just go to the internal effects. Let's just add a flanger to the bass and leave it on its basic setting and see how it sounds. Cause flangers always sound nice on bass. Um, it's, 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 I transcribe plus it is, it is a fab. It's fab. <laughs> it's a fab app. Because it does, it allows you to do all this kind of stuff as well, which is really, you know, if you've got older stuff, I mean, this is years old, this track. So let's just have a listen to what we sound like with the Waves EQ. So for voice. I like it better without the wave, so I'm going to change it. Let's try H delay just for fun, but we'll take the mix down quite a lot here. Um, let's see what it sounds like with bringing it up a little bit. Money gets pushed down my top. I can tell the plan to stop. I heal you low cut top. I believe it's like a money slot. Please, you guys, 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 gu
Sawakuro Sawadin Sum Sum Organ in the chorus bit. So just for fun, I'll just add, I'll I'll just record that in as it as it comes round here for this, this for this last kind of chorus. Adding something else in as well, just for fun, uh, with with the organ, and again, of course, we can just give that some quick space with the reverb. it sounds all right of course i worked really really quick here but on something like this you would want to spend you would want to spend more time because otherwise you're just gonna you're just gonna mess things up but if you take your time you split stuff up uh you know we've got now got one two three four uh, one two three four vocal tracks from one vocal each track sounds different and like i says don't worry too much about the artifact when you hear the artifacts and if you solo out and go well that, that, i'm hearing a lot of art. when you add it back in all of those extra harmonics and things that were there in your original mix are still there they're just in bits and pieces on the other part of the mix as well i think that's really cool guys thanks so much for joining me this evening joe um Thanks for making a great app, man. <laughs> it really is really cool. And uh, yeah, awesome stuff. We'll play the track through. But like I said, you know, you could do more work on this. You could spend ages and ages on it, you know, and you could go in and add, add in your extra bits. You could say, for instance, okay, well, we've got like this, uh, this organ here. We could go, well, uh, a, a synth might be nice in that because there was never no keyboards in this track. It was just guitar, bass and vocals and, and, and some drums. Um, we could go in and add some, uh, let's see what we've got here. Let's uh, just, let's go with synth, synth. So that middle late. If I put on like some, so I'm on this choir now. If I go into audio units here and find a, a shimmer, I'll find the first one, the first one that comes to. Bump, 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 please shimmer. So this is gonna really make that middle section it's very cool. Well, we won't worry about the mix for, for a moment, but we will. Um, when we mix it up, when I, well, when I got, thanks Cap, the Captain, thanks Captain, so I think it's, I think it's in E, so, yeah, so let's just. Sorry, I was in the wrong bit. This bit, this is the bit I want. Oh, wait. 
wait, wait, wait. I messed that up. So, um... Yeah, because it, it did actually sound really nice when it first started. Right, let's see. Okay. Okay, cool beans. This vocal here, this is the center vocal. Um, right, okay, let's play the track through while you guys say to Archie, thank you very much for joining me this evening. We, we, we mixed the track from Transcribe Plus only possible with transcribe plus and i've always felt that the vocals in this we the vocals were obviously originally recorded in one take on one track and i even after i'd mastered it, i i thought that um the vocal was always a little bit quiet it should have been a little bit louder but with transcribe plus you can then take this vocal do what you want with it as well as the other instruments as well and you end up with a completely different mix i think that's just brilliant Right, okay. Um Well I could I could do it with um I, I could trans transpose it with Cubasis. Yeah. You can speed up and slow down all the audio as much as you like in, in the actual Transcribe Plus app. Anyway. Thanks very much guys and I will see you all tomorrow, hopefully with some other madness. Who knows? Anyway. Um yeah. Ta-da! Smoke the bug and squeeze the guys I'm usually little cheap to buy Another drink or let's have some fun All your time's just me gone Like a money slot, squeeze the guys and make me bad.